the planet can support something like a billion people. And the greatest arrogance of all, save the planet. What? Are these fucking people kidding me? Save the planet? We don't know how to take care of ourselves yet. We haven't learned how to help one another. We're going to save the fucking planet? So far, globally, you are so far above the population and the consumption levels, which can be supported by this planet, that I know in one way or another it's going to come back down. So I don't hope to avoid that. I am getting tired of that shit. I'm tired of fucking Earth Day. I'm tired of these fucking self-righteous environmentalists. I'm tired of these white, liberal, bourgeois, liberal, white people who think the only thing wrong with this planet is there aren't enough bicycle paths. I mean, we could even have eight or nine billion, probably, if we have a very strong dictatorship, which is smart. They don't care about the planet. Not in the abstract, they don't. You know what they're interested in? A clean place to live. Their own habitat. They're worried that someday in the future they might be personally inconvenienced. Narrow, unenlightened self-interest doesn't impress me. Besides, there's nothing wrong with the planet. The planet is fine. The people are fucked. Maybe two billion, depending on how much liberty and how much material consumption you want to, to have. Over 90%, way over 90% of all the species that have ever lived on this planet, ever lived, are gone. Whoosh. They're extinct. We didn't kill them all. If you want more liberty and more consumption, you have to have fewer people. Irrespective of how we act on this planet, 25 species that were here today will be gone tomorrow. Let them go gracefully. <laughs> Leave nature alone. Haven't we done enough? Unfortunately, you never have smart dictatorships. They're always stupid. The planet has been here for four and a half billion years, all right? Four and a half billion. We've been here, what, 100,000? Maybe. 200,000? Maybe. And we've only been engaged in heavy industry for a little over 200 years. 200 years versus four and a half billion. And we have the conceit to think that somehow we're a threat? That somehow we're going to put in jeopardy this beautiful little blue-green ball that's just floating around the sun? Planet has been through a lot worse than us for a long time. Been through earthquakes, volcanoes, plate tectonics, continental drift, solar flares flares, sunspots, magnetic storms, the magnetic reversal of the poles, bombardments for hundreds of thousands of years by comets and asteroids and meteors, sandstorms, erosion of all kind, cosmic radiation, worldwide fires, worldwide floods, recurring ice ages. And we think, we think some aluminum cans and some plastic bags are going to make a difference? Planet isn't going anywhere. We are. So, but if you had a smart dictatorship and a low standard of living, you can have it. But, but we want to have freedom and we want to have a high sentence. So we're going to have a billion people. We're going away. We're going away. And we're now at seven. So we have to get back down. Pack your shit, folks. We're going away. And we won't leave much of a trace either. Thank God for that. Maybe a little styrofoam. Maybe a little styrofoam. I hope that this can be slow, relatively slow, and that it can be done in a way which is relatively equal. I think what would you do trying to defend against this pesky, troublesome species? Let's see, what might, hmm, viruses. Viruses might be good. They seem vulnerable to viruses. And uh, viruses are tricky, always mutating and forming new strains whenever a vaccine is developed. Perhaps this first virus could be one that, that compromises the immune system of these creatures, perhaps a human immunodeficiency virus, making them vulnerable to all sorts of other diseases and infections that might come along. And we're now at seven, so we have to get back down.